just one type of horse. Just like dogs, we have small dogs, big dogs, calm dogs, hyper dogs, herding dogs, hunting dogs. I think you catch my drift. It is the same for horses. You have big horses, little horses, calm horses, spirited horses, working horses, and pleasure horses. Horses are typed in different ways. That means horses are grouped into categories according to different characteristics, like size, temperament, job, and movement. And there are over 450 breeds of horses and ponies that fall into these different categories. Types of horses grouped by size. Miniature horses and ponies. Ponies. By the way, for your information, a pony is not a baby horse. Light horses. Heavy, also known as draft horses. Miniature horses, also called minis. Adorable, aren't they? These little munchkins are just too cute for words. Minis have many benefits. Many benefits, not many benefits. They make great riding ponies for small children and are great therapy horses. They are also great companions to other horses who long for the company of other horses. And what's even cooler is some people even keep them in their houses. So how little are miniature horses exactly? They are really little. They do not get bigger than 34 to 38 inches tall. Miniature horse breeds include Falabella, Miniature Arabians, South African Miniature Horse. Ponies, also called the devil by some in the horse world. Ponies, devious, smart, and sassy. Why do they make good children's mounts? They're small and are very good teachers. A pony is a horse that is under 14.2 hands. Ponies are also very hardy and are easy keepers, meaning you don't have to feed them a lot. Pony breeds are the Stubborn Shetland Pony, the Sturdy Shinkotique Pony, the Lovely Konamara, and last but not least, the Flashy Hackney Pony. Ponies come from all over the world, some from Japan, from Europe, from America, and even Australia. Ponies are loads of fun, but be careful, some might bite. Light Horses Light horses are horses that are not drafts or ponies. Light horses could be gated horses, sport horses, or stock horses. They are exactly what the term light horse suggests. They are not as thick and heavy as drafts are, nor are they tiny like a mini. Like Goldilocks said in the Three Bear story, this one, in our case, light horses, is just right. Light horse breeds include the Pasifino, the Quarter Horse, and the Thoroughbred. Draft horses. Draft horses. I think we've all seen one. I'm thinking of a particular commercial with a team of bay horses pulling a beer cart. If you said Clydesdales, you are correct. They fit in the draft horse category, also known as cold bloods. Well, let me just clarify that. Cold blood doesn't mean that its blood is literally cold. We're talking about temperament. Drafts are usually calm and quiet. They are a bit slower than other horses. Draft horse breeds include the Percheron, also considered the Arabians of draft horses, the Stunning Shire, the Easygoing Belgian, the Gorgeous Irish Cobb, and the Clydesdale. Most draft horse breeds originated in Europe because they needed a strong horse to pull their plows and help them on farms. Draft horses are also very smart. I should know because I have one. The smallest horse was Thumbelina, born May 1st, 2001, died in 2018. She was a dwarf manager horse and the world's smallest horse. She stood 43 centimeters, 17 inches tall, and weighed 26 kilograms, 57 pounds, and received the title of the world's smallest from the Guinness World Records. Thumbelina was born in St. Louis, Missouri. Her owners, Paul and Kay Gosling, and her handler, Michelle Gosling, cared for her along with the other miniature horses in their farm in Ladue. Samson was a shower horse gelding fold in 1846 in Toddington Mills, Bedfordshire, England. He was the tallest and heaviest horse ever recorded. Samson, owned by Thomas Cleaver, stood 7 feet 2.13 meters high by the time he was 4 years old when he was renamed Mammoth. His peak weight was estimated at 3,360 pounds, 1,524 kilograms. Types of horses grouped by temperament. Cold bloods, warm bloods, hot bloods. Cold bloods. Cold bloods or cold blooded is a term used for draft horse breeds. Cold bloods are strong, powerful horses and are often quite slow given their size. They make good babysitter and therapy horses. Any draft horse fits in this category. 
Hot Bloods, horses in this category usually are more excitable very fast, which makes them very good for horse racing and endurance. Horses that fit in this category are the Elegant Arabians, the Fast Thoroughbred, the Metallic Looking Akultaki, the Unusual Marwari Horse, to name a few. Hot blooded horses originated from the Middle East, but for speed and agility. As you can probably tell, they are also very slender and lean. Warm Bloods Powerful, beautiful, and graceful in motion, Warm Bloods are a mix of hot bloods and drafts. Warm Bloods have become a huge part of the English show world. Why? Warm Bloods are very versatile. They excel in show jumping, dressage, eventing, and carriage driving. These horses are incredible movers and are very flashy, but they cost a lot of moolah. Some can cost up to a million dollars. Yep, that's a lot. Warm plus include the powerful Hanoverian, the amazing Tricaner, and the sporty Oldenburg. Warm plus are a big part of the horse world and I suppose will remain the world's largest horse show breeds. Types of horses grouped by body types. Stock horse, sport horse, saddle horse. Stock horses. Powerful, smart, and athletic horses, these horses are reliable, most used for working cattle, but some made tremendous riding horses. You might hear the term cow horse or cow pony, referring to the fact that most stock horses were used for cow to work in the cowboy days. Stock horses include the versatile quarter horse, the spotted Appaloosa, and the pretty paint. Stock horses are wonderful barrel horses, reining and pole bending horses, and even make for good inventing in English horses as well. Sport horses, refined, sporty, powerful, and built. The sport horse is built for the sport of riding. They have the talent and ability to go to the highest level in competition. The best qualities were combined to create a horse that can withstand the rigor of a long competition and still be able to keep up with the game. These horses often compete at the national and international level, and some even go to the Olympics. Many warm blood breeds fit into this category. For example, the Bold Irish Draught, the Athletic Dutch Warm Blood, and the Agile Holsteiner. Sport horses are captivating to watch and ride. Their movement at times can be unparalleled to others. They make good horses to use at the very top levels. Saddle horses, flashy, exciting, and vigorous. The saddle horses are glamorous horses. Saddle horses were built for pleasure riding, pleasure driving, and sport. These horses are very beautiful and have a presence and bearing all of their own. They are lighter in muscle tone and more refined than stock and sport horses. Their movement is light and lively. They have very refined features and a gracefully arched neck. Saddle type horses generally compete in a competition that was created specifically for them to show off their flashy movement, presence of mind, and energetic spirits. When it came to saddle horses, pleasure and comfort was high on the list. People wanted a horse that looked not only pleasing to the eye, but also to be a pleasure to ride and drive, and to be comfortable as well. Saddle type horses include the animated American Saddlebred, considered the peacock of horses, the compact Morgans, the elegant Arabians, the flashy Hackneys. Types of horses grouped by job, riding horses, racing horses, driving horses, work horses, farm plowing horses, riding horses, sane, athletic, and fun. These horses were meant to be enjoyed by riders everywhere, whether they were riding just for pleasure or for sport. Most horses fall into this category because of their rideability. They can be of stock, sport, or gated. More on that. Minis, ponies, light, or even draft type horses and come in small, medium, and large sizes. These horses were bred for the specific purpose of riding. They excel in any discipline with proper training. Riding horses include the multicolored Appaloosa, the smooth racking horse, the hardy Kentucky mountain horse, the rugged Percheron, and the compact Morgan. Riding horses can do anything and make great choices for those who love riding. Racing horses, fast, agile, and driven. Race horses have a need for speed. Most horses love the thrill of it all, the race. The cheering, the crowd, they have a love for it. Then there are different types of racing. You have thoroughbred racing, triple crown, steeplechase, endurance racing, like cross country running, mixed with a marathon, and harness racing. 
The longest races are the endurance races, covering a distance up to 100 miles. The fastest horse ever was listed in the Guinness World Record. She was Winning Brew, a thoroughbred with the fastest speed from the starting gate of 43.97 miles per hour held for two furlings. That is one fourth of a mile. Racing horses include the thoroughbred, quarter horse, and standard bred. After a long career of racing, the good racers usually go to retirement as root mares and breeding stallions. Some thoroughbred stud fees can range anywhere from 200,000 to 6 million. Nope, I'm not joking. But the not so good racers tend to go to the slaughter or to thoroughbred aftercare programs where they can find different jobs such as trail horses or venting horses. Maybe one day you'll own an off the track thoroughbred. Driving horses, brave, consistent, and willing. Driving horses have played a major part in the history of the world. Before cars, scooters, and bikes, people used horses for transportation. Most horses were used just for everyday travel. There were some that were used for riding a style, and others that were used in sport or racing. And then there were those used to pull heavy loads. Any horse, including ponies, minis, donkeys, and mules, can be used for driving. Nowadays, driving horses are mostly used for sport or pleasure. Common driving horses, the beautiful Irish Cobb, the Regal Frisians, the Chevy Hackney, and the adorable miniature horses. Workhorses, steady, reliable, easy, and unflappable. Workhorses have done the work when it was necessary. Workhorses are horses that are used for work like plowing a field, farm work, logging, as pack animals, and many other work-related jobs. Horses were even used in the mines to pull the loads of dirt and rock out to the surface. Back then, horses were used more for work than they are today. To have a horse on a farm helped tremendously because all of the work could be done faster. But after the World Wars, work horses declined as mechanization and machinery grew more popular. People could do the same work with machines and not have to feed and care for it the same way with the horse. But even still, there are people who still use horses to get the work done. Horses are even used in places a machine cannot go. So even though working jobs have declined over time, horses are still used today. Work horses can be horses of any breed or size. Even ponies, donkeys, and mules have been used in place of a work horse. All that is required is if they can do the job well. Horses that have been used for work are the Strong Suffolk Punch, the Gentle Clydesdale, and the Enormous Shire. Types of horses grouped by movement. Gated horses have special movement and non-gated horses. Gated horses. Gated horses have different gates slash movements that are usually smoother than the traditional gates. Graceful, smooth, and quite fast. Some gated horses simply take your breath away. Gated horses were bred for their smooth gates or movements. It is so smooth, you hardly move when you are riding a gated horse, but it can get a little fast, so hold on. Gated horses are often recommended to riders with weak backs or poor balance. Gated horses are the flashy Tennessee Walker horse, the showy saddlebred, the mighty Icelandic horses, and the Missouri Fox Trotter. Gated horses are a gem and a beauty to behold. They are treasured horses here in America and are owned by thousands all over the country. Maybe one day you'll own these gems. Non-gated horses are horses that have traditional movements, walk, trot, or jog, canter, or lope, and gallop. Every other horse that doesn't have a special gait, which ends up being most horses, are non-gated horses. So, what did you think? Here's a little something to keep in mind when remembering the types of horses. Hot bloods are like sports cars and Lamborghinis. Beautiful, fast, and elegant. Expensive, too. Drafts are like your army vehicles and heavy-duty trucks. Big, heavy, and tough. Warm bloods are like your hybrid vehicles. Ponies are like your compact cars. Small, but mighty. Gated horses are like your luxury cars because they ride so smoothly. Miniature horses are like your tiny cars. So next time you see a car or a truck, maybe it'll remind you of a type of horse. Please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to click the bell to turn on notifications to be notified of new videos and updates. Again, I am Emily.